blah 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 these are my I'm sitting here oh, what's, the, what's his line what does he say he goes like I'm sitting here with the th the three best uh, starters from Gen 1 it's right here the man Bulbasaur since and Squirtle right but uh, that's only two, as you can see, of the three. But I uh, forgot what the third one is, so I just have a link here. Yeah, he's more he's more recognizable than the third. Who cares? He's probably the worst, anyways. But you want to know what I care for more than uh, the three starters? It's my knowledge, and nothing expresses my love for knowledge more than my bookshelf. And I can show you here. I can show you here all my books, all of them right there. Right, there's, there, there's some real classics in here, like the California Driver Handbook. Um, I'm a good, oh, this one's a good one. Um, I'm not going to get up today, um, which really reflects um, my um, feelings this past month. And, uh, oh, no, that's a, I can't put this back. Now, that's a juicy one. Oh, uh, yeah, my favorite, favorite. You, you should really pick one of these up. But today, we're going to be talking about uh, the Red Real Barrel that we will find in this uh, literature book. So let's go. Alright. So for the point of this video is that we're going to be talking about... Oh. Otherwise. We're going to be talking about the Red Real Barrel. And before I start, I want to say that I was very inspired by um, Jester's um, video. Uh... Jester, fun. I'm sorry, Jester. I forgot. I forgot, Jester. Jester, fun. Uh, I don't know your last name. I'm sorry, Jester. I don't know your last name. Uh. Uh. Fun. Foronda, Foronda, very beautiful, beautiful. Uh. Yeah, Jester, Jester Foronda. He was very. I was inspired by his video, so I'm gonna make one similar, talking about the red wheelbarrow. Okay, and so we're gonna start. This is where the video actually starts. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is that we're going to be reading <laughs> it, but we're also going to be using how to read poem or how to read it better so that you really understand what the author's trying to say to you and you understand the purpose of it. Okay, so first let's do a quick rundown, a quick read of the Red Wheelbarrow. It's not that long. All right, here it goes. So much depends upon a Red Wheelbarrow glazed with red glitter... G glaze with rainwater beside the white chickens and that's the that's the poem really very compelling stuff by William Carlos Williams and so we're gonna do in this five-step process I have here on my notes down here okay the step one read it more than once okay let's go let's do that again let's do that again so much depends upon a red wheelbarrow great glaze with rainwater beside the white chickens Okay, so now we have that done. We read it more than once. I'm pretty confident with that one. And now step two, keep a dictionary. This means to have a dictionary so that you can look up words that you don't understand. Well, I'm sorry that if you saw it over there in my, if you see over there in my bookshelf from other, the other time I showed you, I don't have a dictionary. I would have put it up there. But the next best thing is I have a phone. And the phone has <laughs> the phone has any has the internet and I could Google anything. So let's um let's, let's do a little demonstration here. Let's say for example, I don't know what a wheelbarrow is. I honestly thought that was just a barrel with a wheel, right? I don't know. So let's uh Google it real quick. So let's Google wheelbarrow. Uh, wheelbarrow Images. Oh I put shopping images. And then here it is, bada bing bada boom. If you didn't know what a wheelbarrow, oh. if you didn't know what a wheelbarrow is, 
uh, barrel, barrel, boom. Those are wheelbarrows. Very epic, very cool. Oh god, that's very bad lighting. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, now we move on to step three. Hear the words in your mind. Well, this is basically saying that when you read, you should not only just skim it, reading it really fast, you should be able to comprehend the words in your mind, saying them in, in your head. So let's say when I was reading, let's say if I wasn't reading it loud, I would have been reading it consciously in my head instead of uh, just skimming over it. Or just skimming over it, right? All right. We Now step four, always understand what is happening. Uh, this means exactly what it means. So we're gonna this, let's reread the poem since it's very short and let's see if we understand what's happening. So much depends upon a red wheelbarrow. So this means that the speaker is very dependent on his wheelbarrow. He needs it for many things, hope probably, or something really important. Okay, next. Glaze with rainwater beside the white chickens. So this wheelbarrow is wet with rainwater, and it's beside the white chickens. So that means it must be connected with the white chickens since it's right next to it. Maybe for the eggs, maybe for... I don't know, chicken transportation, I can't say. Probably, probably for the eggs or other farm activities. Part, then part five, reading aloud. I read the poem aloud. We can do it one more time, why not? So much depends upon a red, red, Jesus. So much depends upon a red wheelbarrow glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens. Boom. That's five. All right. So that's all five steps. So now we should be, be able to accurately understand this poem. So we're going to read this poem again. Or no, we're going to think about this poem and what we can look at. Uh, let's find the meaning. So, so much depends upon a red wheelbarrow glazed with rainwater beside the white chickens. Well, I uh, can't under, I can't get a... Um, the, the the big picture here, it's um uh, a very pointless story. I, I gotta say, I don't know. It's uh very simple. It's just about a wheelbarrow and some chickens. It's uh very basic and pointless. One thing I hate the most is that something's useless. Just where something useless it has no point in existing. It's so useless. Useless! 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 But maybe that's the point. Maybe this story isn't meant to be have a deep meaning. In this, in this very book, in chapter nine, it talks. I think chapter nine, some chapter. It talks about meanings and ideas and the purpose of stories. It says not all stories have to have a big purpose. So for example, not every story has to be something like, uh, I can't think of something on top of my head, like Hamlet, which is something dramatic, or Endgame, where it's like a big story. Not everything has to be like that. Even in these little poem thingies, right, there's story, but it doesn't have to be deep, if you understand, right? Because that com misses the complete point of poems. Sometimes trying to make a story is not what the author wants, and it's not... Is not fun for the poet. The poems are supposed to be fun, right? And I bet, I bet, I bet the poet had real fun time reading, uh, writing this. And you know, what? I, I, I had a good time reading it as well, right? And I had a blast. And I hope you had a blast watching this. I very messed this up, but it's okay. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, please like. Please smash the like button if you if you like this video. Share with all your friends, subscribe, ring the notification read the notification bell for the next video, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Gotta wait for ten minutes, I'm sorry I got uh had to get monetized. Uh uh Uh